Hey guys, it's Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Well, I have my first ring failure. This is the ring floodlight. It's uh, obviously flickering at me. I saw it uh, at night out here just, uh, you know, uh, doing the strobe light on the, uh, on the yard. I came out here, I turned it off, I turned it back on. I went in the settings, nothing there seems to fix it. And you can see some of the LEDs uh, diodes in there are bad uh, but also there's obviously something going on with the little uh, voltage converter that is making them um, blink at us so uh, I'm going to file a and so it, it just stopped um, but then once it has motion again at night it'll, it'll kick back on so um, I'm filing a warranty claim and we'll see what happens with ring as far as what, what, what do they do? Do they send me new lights? Do they send me a whole new unit? And uh, do they make me return the old one? So let's find out. All right, so this is my first time using the Ring warranty. And you know I do pay for their um, $100 a year, I forget what it's called, but it's their subscription plan. And it covers as many cameras as you want, I think, or it could be 10, I forget, I'll, I'll confirm. But anyways, I have that and one of the things that I liked about it was that it in extended your warranty indefinitely. Um, I think the only thing it doesn't cover are the batteries. So any of your battery powered uh, devices, it doesn't cover when those eventually will go bad. Um, but I don't have a lot of battery powered ones. So it's been, this camera has been out there for um, less than four years. So, you know, I, I was hoping the lights would last longer than that. So four years, I'm kind of disappointed, but at least I was fairly quickly able to chat with them. They said, hey, did you turn it off and turn it back on? I said, yes, and it still flickers. So they said, okay, we'll um, ship you out a new one. So it came in in two days that shipped out and this is the box. So I'm interested to see because they've had updates to the floodlight cam since then. I don't know if they're gonna send me the old one or the, the a new one. So let's take it out and find out. At first glance, it looks like it's the same one, not a new one, not their new version, which I'm kind of uh, not surprised about because it is, um, I think this one is maybe still available or just ended its life. So I'm sure they had some stock in there for this. And you know, this could be a refurbished one. Uh, they don't clarify if it is or isn't. So yeah, it looks like it's the exact same product and I can just replace it out there on the wall. You know, get all the all the full accessories, but obviously I think I'm just going to take this guy out there and um, take the one off and put this one on. And now it says that I can not um, delete the old one. So I'm gonna see what it does. It might automatically um, know that this device is replacing that old device. So let's go through that step and see once I get this installed. All right, so to uh, take it off, luckily this one's on a light switch, so I can just leave the light switch off and then I know power's off. I don't have to go to a breaker, but I am just going to take this off here. Just got two little screws that uh, hold it onto that wall plate. So once I loosen those up, I can pop this guy off. Okay, so that's the defective unit there. And you know, there's nothing obvious signs in there that it's um, um, defective. It looks normal, but again, it's it's kind of a combination here. It's both this voltage converter, and then you can see a couple of my diodes weren't, um, weren't turning on there. This is how it's supposed to look. Um, and all of those diodes in that circle should be lit up. Okay, so here is the new one. So I'm gonna try to get it kind of close to this same shape first before I put it up there.
All right, so now I just need to tighten up these uh, little nuts here. Okay, then we'll aim these lights a little bit. Take off that tape. Now we'll see what happens when I turn it on and connect to the ring app. All right, so both my lights came on, that's a good sign. Okay, so now I'm going into the ring app here and you can see my old one it says offline so i'm not sure if i welcome to ring follow the instructions in the ring app to continue not sure if i have to remove the old one or not i thought i saw something that said i don't have to uh, remove it but let me go ahead and set up this new device go to security cams all right i don't know where my QR code is, so I'm just going to Okay, I'm saying it's been installed. We'll do the Wi-Fi. It's already flashing here. It's hard to see in the light. Floodlight cam is connected to the floodlight cam is connecting to the internet. Just a moment. Rome wasn't built in a day. Let's see what it does here. Your floodlight cam is ready to go. With Ring, you're always home. Okay, so it says it's all set up. I'm not gonna do the sidewalk. One, there's no sidewalk even close to me. Um, or there's no neighbors close to me either, so it doesn't really matter if I share or not. So, you can see I'm pretty dang close at setting up that view to be very similar to the way it was before. I was pretty good at the first start here. Alright, so I'm just going to go slightly up higher. Oh, let's do an update. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in here and delete this old camera. Now, so let's go in here. I think it's, there it is, yeah, general settings, and then remove device. Okay, so now it's gone, and now I'm gonna go back in there and change the name of the new one back to the normal one. that's all saved and then I have to go through here I'll have to play with the settings again to get the motion all that kind of stuff um, copied over to this camera my cam is installing an update so when the light stops flashing it's ready to use okay but uh, overall that was a pretty seamless process and uh, I'm actually pretty happy with rings warranty support it was uh, probably a 15, 20 minute chat with the um, help desk online on my app actually. And then it was two day shipping. And then they, I'm just gonna put that old one back in the box. I do have to return it to them, uh, but they do a prepaid label so it doesn't cost me any money. And then I'm done, I have a new camera. So uh, I can't complain about that. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, you like my content, 
please subscribe down below hit the bell icon uh, comment below if you have any questions hit the video like button below and uh, keep watching and stay tuned